In example one, we have a table providing the information on the number of births in thousands per month for 2009 in the United States. We want to use a significance level of 0.05 to test the claim that on average there are less than 350 births per month in the United States. So the very first thing we need to do is assess normality to determine whether we'll test a claim about for this on average. Does that mean test a claim about the mean or the median? So to assess normality, we will test the following hypotheses. So the null hypothesis that our sample data comes from a normally distributed population. And the alternative hypothesis that our sample data comes from a non-normally distributed population. So with our information typed into StatCrunch, we can select Stat, Goodness of Fit, and the Normality Test to generate a p-value of 0 0.582. So the p-value is 0 0.4582, which is greater than alpha, which for this problem is 0 0.05. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So if we fail to reject the null, hy null hypothesis, we're saying there is not sufficient evidence to discredit the original assumption that our data comes from a normally distributed population. So if we can't discredit that hypothesis, we just have to maintain that assumption that it's true. So there's not su sufficient evidence to discredit it. So in this case, if we're saying that our data does come from a normally distributed population, the conditions are met to test a claim about means or about a mean since we're just testing one. So since we're saying that the data does come from a normally distributed population, the conditions are met to test a claim about a mean. Specifically in this case, we'll test the claim or we'll test the following hypotheses. So we're testing the null hypothesis that mu is equal to 350 against the alternative hypothesis that mu is something less than 350. So in order to conduct this test, we'll select stat. Since we know we're con conducting a test about a mean, we'll select t stats, one sample, with data. There's also this with summary option. So we'll pull that up for just a second. And this would be, again, for a problem where you're not provided with the data, but you're provided with the sample mean, sample standard deviation, and sample size. In this case, though, we have a set of data. So we'll select t-stats, one sample with data. We'll select our data set and then set up our hypotheses. And click Compute. So we get a p-value of 0.1269. which in this case is less than our value for alpha, which is 0 0.05. So we fail to reject, or I'm sorry, it's not less than, is greater than our alpha value. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that our population mean is equal to 350. So what we're saying in the context of the problem is there is not sufficient evidence to discredit the original assumption that on average there are 350, and since that's in thousands, 350,000 births per month in the United States. So in this case, we're, not, we're saying there's not sufficient evidence to reject that assumption. 
So we can't reject that claim. So in this case, the original claim is not supported. In example two, we have currently 17 states, or at least 17 states when I retrieve this information, and Washington, D.C. have enacted laws that legalize medical marijuana, each law coming with restrictions on the amount of medicinal marijuana an individual can have. We want to test the claim that if additional states legalize medical marijuana, the average possession limit would be less than five ounces. So to assess normality, we'll test the following hypotheses. So what I'm actually going to do is just skip rewriting those hypotheses just for the sake of time. Um, for your write-ups, for an exam, for discussion posts, that would be something important to include. So again, we're testing those same hypotheses. Our data comes from a normal distribution, does not come from a normal distribution. And then we'll generate our p-value. which in this case comes out to be less than 0 0.0001, which is less than our value for alpha, which in this case is 0 0.1. So we reject the null hypothesis. So there is sufficient evidence to conclude that our sample data comes from a population that is not normally distributed. The conditions are not met to test a mean, so we will test a claim about the median. Specifically, we'll test the following hypotheses. So our null hypothesis is going to be the statement that our population median is equal to 5, and the alternative hypothesis will be the statement that the median is less than 5, so on average less than 5 ounces. So in order to test a claim about a median, we'll select STAT, non-parametrics, and then sign test. So from there, this works pretty much the same as the t-test. So we'll select our data set, we'll select, or we'll set up our hypotheses, which in this case is equal to 5 and less than 5, and click compute. So we get a p-value of 0.1509 which actually is incorrect. It looks like I typed my data set wrong. So let me type this out again really quickly. And 24. So you could conduct the Shapiro-Wilk test again. We would still get that same value of less than 0 0.0001. But now if we go back in and conduct the sign test, in this case on that second data set, set the median equal to 5 and the alternative to be less than, and click compute, now we get the right p-value of 0 0.0717. So we have a p-value of 0 0.0717, which is less than or equal to our value for alpha which is 0 0.1, so we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that m is something less than 5. So there is sufficient evidence to conclude that on average the possession limit for new states would be less than five ounces. So in this case, the claim is supported.